So once you have filled the list. trays, um, you press the trays down and then you mist the compost as Joe is doing now. Just so each of the compost is damp. And this is before you put in the wheatgrass. So you mist each one down quite well. We find that the wheatgrass takes better when the soil is very damp. So Joe is now gonna mist each of the trays. He's got 30 trays, one tray for each day. For 30 days cycle. And that should yield around four to six fluid ounces of wheatgrass per day. So the next step is after the water, um, the trays have been watered, Joe is going to grab two handfuls of the sprouted wheat grass, um, and this is winter wheat. You can order this from Ackenbury Sprouts in the UK, and there's loads of places in America you can order them from. Newport. And then um, he's going to spread them out in a thin layer, very gently, because I've got little tails on, because they've been soaking for one night and then rinsed for two days in the morning and the night so that they've sprouted. And then once they have been sprouted, you can then use them. And then Joe will be pressing down another tray on top of them just to keep them in the dark for the next three days. They will need watering in the morning and the evening. And then by the third day, the tray that's on top of them will start to be lifting off and then that's when you remove the top tray and you just keep watering them every day for uh, about seven days, five to seven days. And then when the wheatgrass starts to split at the root and split off to like another shoot, that's when they're ready to juice. So once you have put the wheat grain in each of the trays, try and make it a thin covering of each of the um, trays of the wheatgrass and then you get another tray and then you put the tray on top and just push it down gently to firm them into the soil and Joe is going to go down now and push them down so that they're ready to have their lids on top so Joe is now watering all the trays of wheatgrass and then he will be putting a tray on top and that's he will be then watering it again in the evening. So it gets watered in the morning and watered again in the evening. The tray will stay on there for three days until it starts to push, the wheatgrass starts to push it off. And then in about five to seven days, it'll start to be ready to juice. Joe is now, after watering each tray, putting another tray on top. This will force the wheatgrass to grow strong so they need to stay on there for three days but when you do water in the morning you have to lift off the tray and water it and put the tray back on for the first three days and then after three days the wheatgrass will grow and start pushing off the tray and that's when you discard the trays till the next time you grow your crop. Thank you for listening. It's a the hard tray. life if you don't wake it. <laughs> so we've done the trays, they're now with their little lids on top, they're in little racks which you can buy off the internet, shelves. Amazon, the little shelves. These should actually grow around about, grow 10 pounds each. I don't know, 10 centimetres high. So you want to make sure your shelving has got enough space in between.